Hi, it's Di from Refurbies, and in today's video, we're going to be giving an antique Jacko Bean style buffet and makeover using Pure Eco products and Dixie Bell products and a stencil from My Stencil Lady. This buffet was in really good condition when we first picked it up. It did, however, need quite a few repairs with just the flooring in the drawers and the cupboards, but we got all that done and, and gave her a little bit of Refurbies pizzazz and we hope you like her. Stay tuned to see what we come up with. Here's a quick before picture so you know what we started with. Off camera, we have stripped it down, taken all the doors and drawers out and sanded the top and the drawer fronts along with the doors. There is a really beautiful oak veneer all over this buffet. It's about five mil thick, so and, and it's solid timber underneath. It's probably really nice timber underneath too, but we're sticking with the veneer because it's beautiful. Before we start painting, we need to remove the damaged floors in the cupboards, which are all cupped from water damage, from moisture, I suppose, getting in over the years. And then we're gonna give the entire piece a scuff sand, just to take all the shiny off and a good wash with lemon myrtle cleaner. Then we'll get started with our paint. So the color we've chosen to use today is Pure Eco's Silk Finish in the color Peacock. This paint does have an ultralight base to it, so it will require at least three, possibly four coats of paint to achieve the beautiful teal sort of blue that it is, but I'm more than happy to do an extra coat. I always do three coats anyway, so I'm more than happy to do an extra coat to achieve this beautiful color. First of all, we'll pop on a base coat and then we'll get started. decided to add a little bit of Refurbies flair and stenciled all the new drawer bottoms and the shelves.
To adjust the size of the bolt, we simply put it in a vise and cut it with a hacksaw. Be really careful when you do this, obviously, when you use any cutting tool. I didn't do it because I tend to cut myself when I do these things, so Mr. Refurbies does it for me. Once you've got it cut to size, to avoid the thread having little snags and sharp edges and the bolt not going, or the nut rather, not going smoothly on the bolt, um, Mr. Refurbies just filed it quickly to avoid any of that happening. My original plan was not to paint over this beautiful veneer, this beautiful oak veneer, but there was some quite severe damage to the bottom of one of the draw one of the doors and it couldn't be repaired without being really noticeable. So instead I popped on a raised stencil and a couple of coats of paint.
Time to tidy up now after popping all that paint on. We just go around the edges and get off any excess paint that's not where it's supposed to be. And we're also going to fill a hole that's in the back of the buffet where the, the backboard met and the mirror hardware sat. So we're just using a two-part epoxy putty, which you just squish together in your fingers and till it's all the same colour and then pop it on and wait for it to dry and sand it smooth. The mirror on the backboard was old and worn and just yucky, so we decided to get rid of it and replace it with a piece of ply. So using the mirror as a template, Mr. Refurby's cut me a, a nice piece of ply to fill in the gap and then he glued it to the existing backboard. And again, I'm not allowed to use the saw because Mr. Refurby's thinks I'm too impatient to use cutting tools. So here we are using type bond to glue it to the existing backboard and once that's on Mr. Refurby's clamps it on to leave it dry and then I'll come back in with the sander and make sure that it's all flush with the entire surface of the backboard and fill in the gaps. Once it was dry and all sanded, I decided it was all going to be too plain, so I was going to add another raised stencil. I did this and filled in the edges where the ply meets the old backboard to make it all nice and flush and smooth. Let it dry overnight and then came in and sanded the raised stencil so it was all nice and even and got it ready for paint. Once the backboard was all painted, I decided that the, it was a little bit too plain, so I thought I could 
highlight the raised stencil on the backboard and the doors a little bit with some black paint. So I grabbed some Pure Eco Silk Finish in the colour Carbon and just sort of had a, a little bit of a play around with it until it looked how I wanted it to look. So I, I popped the stencil over the raised stencil so I didn't get the paint on any other parts of the backboard and just, like I said, pretty much played with it until it looked the way I wanted it to look. Once I was happy with the backboard, I moved on to the two doors and again, just had a little bit of a play around to get it to what I liked and match them both up together. So just highlighted the ray stencil a little bit with the black paint. Okay, time for the reveal. Just a reminder of what this old girl looked like before we started. She was in fairly good condition. She was well loved and well looked after. Just a bit of damage to the floors in the cupboard and the drawers, like we already mentioned. So that was really the only the major repairs. But I am super happy and super proud of how it turned out. And I hope her new family love her just as much as I do. Here she is. Mm -hmm.